When we come to enter data from papers into Review Manager, it is not uncommon for there to be lack of clarity about whether there are standard deviations or standard errors reported in the paper. Here is an example of a table from a paper in which the clinical parameters are recorded with a figure in brackets. And if you look at the bottom of the table, it says that this is a mean with standard deviation. However, when we come to enter the data into Review Manager, that study is shown as example 2014. And you will notice within this meta-analysis that I squared is extremely high at 90%. Moreover, the standard deviation for this study is rather small, 3.1 and 3.8, compared to all the other studies. As a consequence, although there are only a total of 30 patients in this study, it's still given 20% of the weight. This raises the question about whether this is really a standard deviation or whether there is a mistake in the paper. How can we find out? Well, the paper says that it's a standard deviation and indeed if you look across there is also a table of baseline data from the same study for the St George's Respiratory Questionnaire SGRQ which shows means and a figure in brackets 5 here in both cases which is reported in the table as a standard deviation. However if we look in the text it says there were no significant differences in health related quality of life at baseline. So let's take that data from the baseline and check it in Revman. Here is the data entered 49 and 40 for the two groups, 16 and 14 the number of patients and the standard deviation from the from the table of 5 and 5. And what we see is a highly significant difference between these two arms. A p-value reported as 0 0.00001. Something is not fitting here. Let's look into this further using the calculator. Let's say for the sake of argument that we think that perhaps these were standard errors, not standard deviations. I'll remove 5 from both of the standard deviation boxes and replace it with 5 as a standard error. If we now look, we'll see a p-value of 0.2 as compared to the very low p-value before. So this appears to be more likely to be the correct data. The same applies for the changes in SGRQ which we saw previously. These standard deviations which we think may be standard errors can be removed and replaced as a standard error instead. And the same 3.8 can be removed from the standard deviation box and replaced as a standard error instead. We now have standard deviations which are much more in keeping with the other studies we find that I squared has dropped somewhat to 67% and that the overall data set seems to fit better. What should we do in this situation? The best thing would be to contact the authors and clarify that actually we think this was a standard error, not a standard deviation. The calculator is useful for checking p-values as reported in the paper against those in Revman itself. Thank you.